it's difficult, right? We haven't been here as a society before. We know that one of the motivations, one of the important things to keep in mind in all of this is the role of fear. And how fear pushes us, compels us to <coughs> overcompensate, to try to micromanage and control things to extremes of avoiding it. It takes the form of alcoholism or gambling. Fear takes a, takes a lot of space in our lives, for better or for worse, and as much as we'd like to kind of excise it, it's, it's sort of with us for the long haul. Now we know that fear is one of the primary things that motivates people to request for euthanasia. We know this in the research and the scholarship. And it's motivated in part by some questions as how much will I suffer? What will the end look like? And we have these stories, right, that we have in the back of our mind of suffering. And we use this as a kind of guide. Well, I know what happened to my father. I know what happened to my friend. I heard the story about what happened to my neighbor. And I don't want that to happen to me. So there is real suffering and imagined suffering. And I think imagined suffering tends to be the one that's worse, right? Because we can create all sorts of scenarios. Calamity. We also see and this is, again, an anecdotal experience, what I call state versus trait euthanasia. State being temporary, a temporary desire for euthanasia. And trait is, no, 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 it's a permanent, lasting, enduring, no, 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 I really, I really want this. Now, in our roles in palliative care, what we see is that the request for euthanasia varies quite a bit. Somebody will come to the unit in extreme pain, extreme suffering, saying, that's it, get me out of here. There are medical interventions to address this pain. The pain is lessened, becomes more controlled, and guess what happens? Not surprisingly, the request for euthanasia goes away. And we've had these moments before where it almost feels like a close call, where it's like, we just missed something. If this, if if the if the request for euthanasia had been honored, then it's very possible the person would have died. But now the pain is controlled, and they're saying, no, 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 I want to go home. 